old school style. We are recording old school style. Style. Anyway. Hey, yeah. We are running around to garage sales. So I actually left a little bit early. Well, this is why we got the stand, isn't it? Good morning, everybody. I'm having one of those mornings where you like, you get up and you're like, oh, I got up early, I'm gonna put on makeup. And I put on like way too much makeup. Um, yeah, so there's that. Welcome to my world in eyeliner, apparently. You know, and then it looks good in the bathroom and then you step outside and you're like, wow, that was a commitment that you made. That was a real big decision. And you went with it. Go girl. <laughs> so anyway, I'm in the line to get some coffee. It is 727. I've already been by two garage sales, found nothing. But I cannot talk and chat here because I don't know my way around anywhere here. So I will be trying to get some footage as far as I as much as I can as I drive around and then we'll have a little bit of a ride along garage sale stuff. Okay, I'm about to pay. <sighs> this is just ridiculous. <laughs> it's too much. It is too much. All right, we're going after it with the napkin. It was early, it was like six o'clock, and I was just like having fun in the bathroom apparently, putting on too much makeup. Let's just remove a teensy bit, how about that? Let's tone this down just a little bit. There, okay, well, did a little bit. Okay, so, I went to this garage sale. I'm having a good time this morning. I'm dropping things. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know. <clears throat> All right, one more time. Went to this garage sale. I tagged garage sales this morning that said they had jewelry on the yard sale treasure map. And so I get there, and I'm looking around. I don't see anything. They're still kind of pulling stuff out. And so I said, hey, you said on your ad you might have some jewelry. She goes, no, I don't think so. <laughs> like, oh, okay. So I didn't get anything. So let's take a peek at the next one and we'll see if we find any goodies. One of the other things about garage sailing is you get to interact with people that you wouldn't normally interact with or maybe not have the opportunity to interact with. You get to see a huge cross section of the world, of the area where you live especially. Um, <laughs> yeah. So whether it's the person hosting the garage sale or the people that are shopping at the garage sale. So this garage sale was hosted by a youngish lady, maybe my age, youngish, at, at her parents' house because she was getting rid of things that had been stored at her parents' house. Some of her things were pricey and some of them were reasonable, which, you know, okay, it's fine. <laughs> Another lady that was there kept pressing her saying, you have eBay prices on your things. You have eBay prices on your things. I really want this vase. Give it to me for $20. And she's like, no, it's 50 back and forth and then I'm looking through the jewelry and I have a you know she had a jewelry box so I went ahead and picked it up there were a few pieces in there I was taking out what I didn't want and then that same lady who wanted the $20 vase was like I want to see what's in the jewelry box I said well I'm taking out what I don't want you know I'm setting it back on the table what I don't want so so I was setting it out and it wasn't full it was like you know like so there was maybe seven or eight things in there it wasn't like I was hoarding it and not letting anybody else see. It was just a couple pieces in there. Well, I want to see what's in the jewelry box. I said, well, I'm, you know, I'm gonna take out what I don't want, so it's here. I'm, you know, and I was doing it quickly, just boom, 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 boom. Um, 
So then <laughs> she, the lady, you know, again, was like, everything she wanted was the higher price stuff. And I, you know, like st some of the sterling, she had some sterling silver bracelets, but she wanted 10 bucks each on them and things like that, which, you know, it's more than I want to pay, but she's more than, you know, it's her stuff. She can sell for what she wants. <sighs> anyway, when I went to pay, she didn't have any change, right? All her change was inside. Her dad was counting it out. Okay. Um, so she finally gets the change. She owes me, she owes me $6 back. So I said, well, how about this? Why don't you just come down on one of the, you know, sterling silver bracelets and I'll just, you don't owe me any change. And instead of 10 bucks, I'd be giving you six bucks for it. Oh, I could do this one for eight. I'm like, no, I'll just get the change then. I should have, uh, even the, even, the, either way I would have had to wait for change, right? So the dad finally brings out the fanny pack with the money. And instead of giving me my change immediately, she proceeds to count it out. He's already told her it's got this much. She double checks it. She's counting, counting it out. I'm like, really? And then before she gives me a you know, she's fixing it. She's putting her fanny pack on and adjusting her belt. And I'm sitting here. I'm not exaggerating. Five minutes waiting for my six dollars. I was getting really frustrated, but at the same time, taking a moment to say, "Wow, I appreciate that I don't have to." You know, I don't see this every day. This is a person's personality that I am not coming in contact with. So, trying to reframe it from frustration to to an anthropological anthropological <laughs> observation. So, I got a Bombay Company jewelry box with a lock for four bucks. I mean, that was a great deal. Uh, so, whether you know it's something. I like to sell jewelry boxes as well. So, and then I got this jewelry box and I got some of the pieces were like 50 cents. So I got this cute cloisonne bracelet and a few other things, some cute, like this is a really cute brooch. I mean, she had some stuff for 50 cents, so I'm happy with that. This was a dollar, this owl, that was cool. You know, and a few other things. I got this big blingy, blingy ring. You know, it's ginormous and it's worn on the back you know, the metal finish is worn off, but I think it's still cool enough that, you know, for 50 cents, it's gonna be okay. You know, and some other cool pieces like this bird, this was a dollar. So, while there were some pieces that I was like, eh, it's too much, there were some good good deals. This was a buck, this bracelet, I like that. A few other things, um, but I'll go through the rest of it later. No, that doesn't come out. And then the this, this was like $2, so. Let's go see what else we can see. sales I haven't really talked a whole lot between but I've got at this one a couple solo earrings I spent 50 cents on four things little solo I don't know if you can see it it's a turtle it looks like it's got malachite in there I can't really see it very well and then a sterling silver charm I don't know what it says but hey then another I believe sterling silver solo earring. I didn't look at it super close. And then a star bracelet. So that was all 50 cents. I've hit a couple other garage sales. I haven't found a ton. Um, we'll just keep going. It's okay. I mean, I don't need a ton, honestly. I know I keep saying this, but it's more about I'm getting to be out and talk to you. Why is, oh, my car's already going. That's why.
I feel like we did not get to chat very much. I got some things at this garage or estate sale rather. I got this. I love it's super dusty. I got that. Mm. For a buck fifty. Everything was half off on this estate sale today. I have golly, today is one of those days like I'm dropping everything, things are sliding and spilling, my purse is tumping over. I mean just constant. So bleh. it's like not Friday the thirteenth or anything weird, I don't think. Anyway, this is probably going to be my last stop unless I see something on the way home. But I got some other things that I didn't get a chance to show you, but I'll link. I'm sure I'll do a haul before this. So I'll link the haul here. Um, but in this estate sale, I spent $50. And I got quite a few earrings and pieces of jewelry. Um, the most expensive thing I got was this gold necklace and it was marked 75 i got it for 30 but i figured my um everything else was so cheap it was like an average out to be really cheap um, because i got a lot of other stuff so yeah the ha because it was half off it was going to be 37 i asked could i give you 20 and then she was like no and then she whenever i was checking out she's like i'll do 30. i was like okay i'll do 30. so basically everything else then was 20. so i got some really cool stuff I got this cool butterfly brooch. I thought it was really unusual. I got an abalone silver ring. That's cool. So those were two bucks each. This really cool bracelet, like so. This one was also two dollars. A necklace. This was two dollars as well. Like so. Really funky. And it's marked. I can't read it. But it's marked if you can see in there. Um, and then a little jewelry box, this little teeny jewelry box that I have it in. And then lots of earrings, which I'll show you a couple. Um, like these ones, which might end up being Bakelite. I'll have to check them out. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know for sure. So they look like they used to be buttons. Then some different little cameo ones that are real sweet. Got them on cards those over um yeah I mean I don't think they're cat or like shell cameo but they're still sweet little cameo earrings there was another pair of cameo earrings I wanted to show you and I don't think the ladies necessarily knew the difference because she was like these are so cute these are like real cameo earrings like vintage real I'm like okay whatever no they're not <laughs> but that's okay because I you know two bucks for those those are still cute and then I got this really sweet mirror. It's uh, this was a buck fifty, so this is her uh, on the back. And this cute little mirror. Anyway, there's some more earrings and stuff in there. So, fifty bucks for everything. I'm not sure, you know, if thirty dollars was a good deal or not. I think it was. I cannot see what the carat of this gold is, but I'm I'm guessing it's fourteen just from the color. But I'll have to. I mean, because. Mm, when, and I'm not an expert at all, but once you started looking at gold, like I have a 10 karat gold ring and it's got a different kind of shade of gold than, you know, 14 karat, 18 karat is like it, it's like they get deeper, deeper, deeper gold colored as they go along. So I'll zoom in and see on this one what it is. I got some other stuff, like I said, but I'll um, link the whole video. So I'm gonna go home because we're gonna go on a day trip and just go exploring today. So I might find some more cool stuff that I'll share in the um, haul video if I do later. So thanks everybody for watching. Go down there and hit that thumbs up button and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye everybody.